Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete. RealAgriculture.com, we're back in wheat fields and it's awesome, except a ton of rain last week. Three to six inches across the province. That's, that's one to two months worth of rain in one week. Well, Peter, we've had to lose nitrogen. Yeah, I don't think so. I really don't. So two ways we lose nitrogen, leaching. Yeah, but if it moves down with the water, when the wheat crop starts to use the water, it'll move back up. So I'm not worried at all about leaching on sands. I think that nitrogen will come back and we'll be fine. On heavy soils, the clay soils, that's where we get into the real losses. That's denitrification. That's when the bugs use the nitrate and they turn that nitrate, nitrate into a gas. It goes off into the atmosphere, never to come back again. So how does that process happen? Well, bugs in the soil drive it. Bugs in the soil, they, they, their rate of how they work is dependent on soil temperature. Cold soils, man, it's freezing out here today. It was freezing all last week. So yes, the soils were saturated, but the bugs were doing next to nothing because it was too cold. So even though we're losing little bits of nitrogen, we lose little bits, a tenth of a percent, a half of a percent. Have we lost two, three, maybe 5% of the nitrogen we applied? Okay, maybe, but we haven't lost 20% of the nitrogen, and we put on at 120 pounds. Man, if you're at 120, 135, you lose 5%, you can, you can suffer that. You're not going to drive back through the field to replace 5% of nitrogen. On the other hand, if it was 25 degree soil temperature, we'd be losing 5% per day. That totally different scenario. So we've lost maybe 5%, which we could lose in one day if we had warm soil that was saturated. If it gets warm, the soil's still saturated, the story will change. As of today, no more nitrogen on the wheat crop. You're good. Leave it alone. Grow great wheat. Mm -hmm.